Hello everybody, welcome to Tall Tannic. I'm Board Badger, and here's another video that I'm guest hosting. There are lots and lots of strange creatures out there in the world, and just when you think you've heard of them all, more appear to blow your mind. These peculiar animals may baffle you or make you laugh, but we assure you that they're entirely real and entirely odd. Without further ado, we bring you to strange animals you probably didn't know exist. Number 13, Dumbo Octopus. These cute, kind of weird looking little guys live between 3,000 and 4,000 meters below the ocean surface. Although every so often, they're found at about 7,000 meters below, the deepest of any known octopus. Even though they can be found worldwide in the waters of places like Australia, New Zealand, Philippines, and even Oregon, they are extremely rare. On average, they reach about 8 to 12 inches in length, but the largest ever found was an incredible 5.9 feet. They're named for their ear-like fins that resemble the flying elephant Dumbo, created by Walt Disney, and they seem to have the same appeal. They're slightly different than others of their kind in a pretty adorable way. Number 12, Irrawaddy Dolphin. All right, so let's just take a moment to appreciate the adorableness of this creature. The Irrawaddy Dolphin resembles a beluga, but is, in fact, more closely related to the killer whale. They have a large melon on their foreheads, and the beak is relatively indistinct, giving them an altogether rounded appearance. They are different than any other dolphin in that their blowhole is off-center, found slightly left of their midline, and opens towards the front of the animal. They weigh between 200 and 440 pounds, and typically run around 7.5 feet in length. When hunting, they squirt a stream of water to herd the fish into a general area, and at times do this while spy hopping. That cool thing whales do where they appear to stand up and hold their bodies above water? Irrawaddies display a mutualistic relationship with fishermen, and at times cooperatively fish alongside them, and will even help drive fish towards boats. So, not only are they cute, they're friendly and they seem to show the want to help us humans out. Number 11, Geranuk. These long-necked adorable animals are often called the giraffe gazelle, as they share a trait that we bet you can guess with their African friends. These antelope are found in the Horn of Africa and drier parts of East Africa and are characterized by their long, long neck and slender limbs. This little guy or girl stands only 31 to 41 inches tall and weighs between 65 and 115 pounds. They're mainly active during the day and rest in the shade throughout the afternoon and hang out in small herds containing two to six members, most times comprised of one sex. They are little vegetarians and eat foliage from trees, brushes, herbs, flowers, and fruits. Their long necks and limbs allow them access to higher branches that other antelopes and gazelles miss out on, with a reach of about 6.6 .6 feet above the ground. Number 10, Lamprey. These scary looking tube shaped fish are sometimes inaccurately called eels when they're just jawless terrifying fish. They have toothed sucking mouths that resemble the sarlacc pit from Star Wars. There are 38 known species of lampreys, but the most well known are parasitic, which feed by boring their way into the flesh of other fish and sucking the blood of the creature. They resemble eels quite a bit with their elongated scaleless bodies. And they don't even have paired fins. Instead, they swim by using movements that create low pressure zones throughout their bodies, pulling them through the water rather than pushing. They live mostly in fresh and coastal waters, although some make their way to the open ocean and travel great distances. They've been used as foods for us humans for quite a long time, as they are said to be more meaty than the traditional fish. Makes sense considering they look like a long meat tube with a terrifying mouthful of sharp teeth. Number 9. Star-Nosed Mole this predator-looking mole is found in the northern parts of America, typically residing in wet lowland areas. It has 22 pink fleshy appendages that ring its snout, used for sensory purposes. They touch with the strange finger-like appendages, which contain 25,000 minute sensory receptors. The animals themselves are covered in thick water-repellent fur, and they have big scaled feet and a long, dense tail that stores fat for their spring breeding season. They're pretty smart too, as they smell underwater by exhaling air bubbles onto objects, then breathing them back in to get the object scent. They're smart and a little bit spooky, and we're guessing you probably didn't even know that these things existed. Number 8, Kiwa Hirsuta. This furry, fuzzy little creature was found in 2005 in the South Pacific Ocean by a group organized by Robert Vrienhoek and Mikkel Zygonzak. The researchers used a submarine and spotted the crab along the Pacific Antarctic Ridge, 930 miles south of Easter Island. The crabs were living on hydrothermal vents at a depth of 7,200 feet. The researchers called it the Yeti crab due to its shaggy, hairy appearance. The hair on the crab's pincers contained filamentous bacteria, thought to help detoxify poisonous materials from the waters that are produced by hydrothermal vents they live on. 
These little guys are bizarre and entirely impressive looking, and we're just wondering where we can get our hands on one. Number 7. Japanese Spider Crab We bet you can guess where you'll find this creepy crawling looking crab. If you guess in the waters around Japan, you are a winner! These long-legged creatures have the largest leg span of any arthropod and are fished enthusiastically as it is considered a delicacy. Their legs can span 18 feet from claw to claw, and their body can grow 16 inches in width. They have been known to weigh up to 42 pounds, so no wonder why they're sought after as a food source. The crab appears orange with white spots down the legs, and the males appear unusually twisted. They're reportedly gentle beings though, despite their scary intimidating appearance. These things are ultimately unnerving though, as they basically look like extremely long, extremely langy spiders of the deep! Number 6. Red-Lipped Batfish Found around Peru or the Galapagos Islands, this funny looking fish has bright red lips, and they look like they just got finished getting ready to go out for a night on the town. They're also weird in that they use their pectoral fins to walk on the ocean floor as they're terrible swimmers. They get their name from their display and are said to possess characteristics found in bats, with long bat-like fins and smaller, more compressed bodies. Batfish have an elysium on the top of their heads, which they use in hunting by luring fish in front of their face before attacking. They're harmless to humans, but that doesn't mean we wouldn't be a little creeped out if we swam upon one while taking a dip in the ocean. Number 5. Portuguese Man of War This odd-looking creature of the Atlantic Ocean is also referred to as the Man of War and Floating Terror. Its tentacles are extremely venomous, and if stung, it's bound to be painful. Although they may look like a jellyfish, they're actually multiple zooids that have physiologically integrated and attached for survival and have to work together to function like a single animal. They're named Man of War after an 18th century armed ship, as they resemble the Portuguese version at full sail. They live their lives on the surface of the ocean, with the gas-filled bladder floating on the surface and the remainder of the colonial organism beneath. It has no way to propel itself about the water, so it just floats there and is influenced by winds, tides, and currents. The sting of a Man of War is said to be terrible, and the tentacles can still sting when detached from the main body. Man of Wars typically feed on plankton and other small animals that happen upon them and they don't have many real predators besides the loggerhead turtle. Number 4. Goblin Shark This rare species of deep sea shark has been called a living fossil, as they are a part of a family of sharks called Mitsukurinaidae that span back 125 million years. They have long, flattened snouts and jaws that contain some intense teeth that resemble nails. Coming across one of these in the open ocean would probably be enough to scare you half to death, as they're between 10 and 13 feet long and look terrifying and unlike anything else. Typically, they're found in the Atlantic Ocean, but goblin sharks have been caught in all three major oceans. They mainly eat teleost fish like dragonfish and rat tails, but it also eats crustaceans and cephalopods. And sadly, they've been found with garbage in their stomachs. They don't really pose any real threats to humans, seeing as they live deep underneath the water, at depths greater than 100 feet. They're apparently not meant to be around us anyways, seeing as a few specimens we've taken into captivity have only survived a short time. <sighs> Number 3. Lowland Streak Tenrec These adorable little guys are found in the northern and eastern parts of Madagascar living in a tropical lowland rainforest. They are tiny, about 4.8 to 6.5 inches long, with long limbs and a long snout. They're brightly colored and look kind of like a mousy version of a bee, black with yellow stripes, light underneath with long scattered quills that can be barbed and detachable. One can find them going about their lives day or night when they're out foraging for earthworms, and at times, other invertebrates. Their long snouts are used for poking around in the dirt to find their food, much like the anteater. They can use their little quills for defense, tilting them forward and driving them into a predator's paws or nose. Though they kinda sound ferocious, they're adorable, and we think you've probably never seen these little creatures before. Number 2. Glaucus Atlanticus Known as the Sea Swallow, Blue Angel, Blue Dragon, Blue Glaucus, and more, this little blue sea slug is a shellless gastropod mollusk. They tend to float upside down and are pushed along by winds and ocean currents. The blue of their bodies help camouflage them as they blend in with the blue waters they live in off the coasts of South Africa, Australia, Mozambique, and in European waters. They eat other pelagic, or open ocean creatures, including another from this list, the Portuguese Man of War. They deliver a painful and possibly dangerous sting when aggravated or attacked, and humans handling them are told to use caution. The Glaucus Atlanticus is tiny, reaching only 1.2 inches in length, and possess serrated teeth. Number 1. Purple Frog 
This deep purple slimy looking frog is found in the Western Ghats in India. It's rounded and almost bloated looking with chubby little arms that splay out from its body. Their heads are unusually small for a frog and they have a pointed beak-like snout. Male purple frogs are approximately one-third the size of females and emerge from the ground temporarily when it's time to mate and call out for their larger counterparts. The females lay around 3,000 eggs in a rock pool and tadpoles emerge about 100 days later. They're unlike most burrowing species of frog in that they typically forage underground, eating termites using a special buccal groove and their tongue. What'd you think of that one? Make sure to let us know down in the comments below and make sure to stop by Board Badger on your way out. See you guys later.